Okay, Google. No, okay, Google, stop. I didn't ask you to play anything. I was just doing testing one, two, three for my video. Anyways, let's go. Okay, so, hey. I didn't understand. Hey creators, this is Nina. Hey creators, this is Nina and Canva just sent out an email saying they have this new feature called like Canva bio whatever and we're gonna check it out. We're actually gonna create what I have on the screen now. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use it. However, here's my caveat. I need to have data when people click on things. So if I have a link in my bio, I wanna know who's clicking, what type of people are clicking. I wanna be able to retarget them in ads. I don't just want a link in bio. So I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to do this the right way and how to really use this feature. So let's go. Okay, so here's the email from Canva basically saying make your bio pop. FYI, they are talking about your Instagram bio or here's the thing, you can put it in any single bio you have including TikTok, which I'm back on TikTok, FYI, just because you didn't know. So here, I wanna show you in my bio, um, I have it a little customized. I'm actually gonna talk about that today. I'm not using Canva, but you can use Canva. Um, here's what you do. So you can click on the email here, make your bio pop, or you can also just go to Canva templates and you can search for the word bio link, right? Bio link. Okay, so there's tons of different um, items here. I used this one when I started out. So if you look at this one, I just customized. So what I'm gonna do is select, I'll select another one. Here's the thing. If you did not watch my original video that is all about how to set up your Canva Pro, how to set up your brand kit and all of that, then you're gonna have to spend a little bit more time on this. But if you did watch that video, I'll include the link below. Um, this is gonna be super duper easy and it should only take you a couple of seconds. So I am gonna go over to styles. I'm gonna choose my fonts. I'm gonna choose my colors and bam, super duper done, right? So this has my, um, this is because I set this up before and then I just have to, I don't like these colors. So I'm gonna go here and click on shuffle. There you go, I can do the black and we'll leave it as that. Then again, since I uploaded my photos before, I can go into here and choose any of my photos or here, nope, uploads. I actually have photos here, so I'm gonna pick one that looks semi-normal, change the text, socially Nina, or whatever, okay? Or work with me. And then here, I'll change it to socially Nina. Super duper quick, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this. Let's just change the size, okay. Okay, so the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is publish as a website. Just in case you didn't know, yes, you can publish um, an entire website from Canva. I have a totally different video that goes into it. Um, it's kind of like a stopgap though. Anyways, so there's different styles. Notice this one has no um, buttons at the top, but if you wanna have like a scrolling website or classic navigation with like an entire menu. You can do that all in Canva. But for today, we just want a regular presentation. So I'm gonna click on open website. It's funny that it says beta because this website thing has been around for a long time. I think my video is from like last year. Um, so you copy this and put it in your bio or even better, I would create a bit.ly link or a pretty link. I have two videos on my channel that explain what those are, but that will allow you to track. In fact, let's go back here. Um, you can always use these links um, and your links directly to the items that you are selling or links to your website or whatever, but Here's the thing. So two things about this. One, you're gonna have to create these links. You're creating a website page. Just in case those of you that didn't know, you can totally create an entire website from Canva. It's not gonna be like a website website, but you know, you can include links and all of that. Again, I have a video on that on my channel, so you can take a look at that. But we're gonna go in here and we are going to click links. Now, you can just enter the link to whatever it is. If you have a book, you can say HTTP download my book.com, right? But 
Here's the important part. I have to track everything. I want data. I want to know who is going to this page. I want to know who's clicking on the links, all of those kind of things. So if you're going to use this, what I suggest that you do is either create bit.ly links or create pretty links. Basically what they are, are um, they're short links that have the ability to track how many people land on that link. Now, when you're using those, um, you can create a link for each of your items here on your page. And what that does is later on you can say, oh, there's 15 people or 500 people who clicked on this link. No one's clicking on this link, so I can just delete it, right? Mm. So that is the true value of using pretty links because in Canva, you can't really check all of that data. However, I'm gonna let you know, completely honest, and let me just take a break from this video to tell you real quick, if you want more data, what you should be using is your own website, right? You should be, if you have a WordPress website, this is if you do, if you don't, don't worry about this, use exactly what I just told you, right? Look up how to use bit.ly links and pretty links and put those in there and track how many people are clicking. However, I want more. I want to understand who is clicking on my link. Are they 35 to 45 year old females? Are they 25 year old males? Are they um, interested in beauty or are they interested in business, right? You can gather all that information by signing up for Google Analytics. You put Google Analytics on your WordPress website and on your WordPress website, you also put tracking links for Google ads and Facebook ads. Now, even though you may not be doing ads, you're not even into this yet, if you start tracking now, here's what the benefit of this is. You don't only realize who's clicking on your links, but when they land on this bio page, not the Canva bio page, but you're gonna create, and actually let me just show you on my um, bio. On this page, this is a WordPress website page that I'm using for my, I just created a WordPress website page, and I have an image of myself. From my phone, it looks super duper clean, right? From um, a desktop, still looks super duper clean. But what's happening is when people land on this page, there's a thing called a Facebook pixel that tracks all of the data for people who land there, as well as Google ads information and, and Google analytics. So why is this important? This is important because I now know anybody who clicks on my Instagram bio link, I can tell like what type of people are interested in my stuff that I'm offering, right? So instead of just having a click and leading people places, because I think there's a study, I don't remember the percentage, I'll find it maybe, but basically a high percentage of people who land on your website do not buy, do not sign up the first time. So you have to retarget them in ads. Again, even if you're not doing ads now, one day, you know, when you make more, a little bit more money, you might be using retargeting. Or when you learn the tech, you might be using retargeting ads. Always set yourself up for the win by preparing now to what I call go viral or blow up in your business. So back to Canva. So even though this is a great feature and I think anybody who is paying for Linktree, you know, and things like that, actually, if you're paying for Linktree, you may want to stay there because it has analytics. But what this is, is it's a great graphic representation and great beautiful stepping stone for someone starting out who wants to add multiple links into in their bio. Also, it's a quick and easy way to do this. However, long term, you should be actually putting it on your own website so you can track your data. Remember, you need to own your data. All right, if you have any more questions, I know I went like really in depth. It is a great feature, I love it, but um, I wanted you guys to see the whole story. If you have questions on anything I mentioned and you wanted me to go further into it or actually teach you that, let me know. Ciao. Back it up the way you bust in the place, nah, nah, nah. Oh, yeah. Very on time, yeah, don't be late, nah, nah. Said I'm in love with you, and I'ma give you anything you want, and I'ma give you anything.